Audiobook summary by Ankit Maheshwari brings you the essence of best-selling and influential books, all in a compact audio format. Each episode distills key insights, actionable takeaways, and the core ideas from top books across business, self-improvement, finance, and beyond. With Ankit's expert narration and focus on practical wisdom, these summaries help you grasp and apply valuable knowledge without needing to read the entire book. Whether you're commuting, exercising, or just taking a break, tune in to unlock new perspectives and ideas that can make a real impact in your life and career. The Art of Thinking Clearly by Rolf Dobelli, book summary. Synopsis. The Art of Thinking Clearly by Rolf Dobelli is a book that guides readers through the pitfalls of cognitive biases and logical fallacies that cloud human judgment and decision-making. Instead of providing a strategy for perfect thinking, Dobelli exposes a collection of systematic errors in reasoning and how they impact decisions on a personal, professional, and societal level. The book is structured into short, digestible chapters, each dedicated to a specific cognitive bias or fallacy. By becoming aware of these mental pitfalls, readers are empowered to make more rational decisions. Dobelli draws on insights from psychology, economics, and behavioral science, along with anecdotal evidence to illustrate his points. Through understanding concepts like survivorship bias, confirmation bias, and the sunk cost fallacy, readers can avoid common traps in reasoning. The author emphasizes the importance of skepticism and critical thinking as deterrents to poor decisions. Dobelli maintains a concise and accessible tone, making the book suitable for both laypersons and those familiar with cognitive science. His ultimate aim is to help readers cultivate clearer thinking to improve their quality of life. Top 20 Insights Survivorship Bias We tend to look at successful individuals or entities and ignore the ones that failed. This bias can mislead us into believing in the inevitability of success by following the path of the winners without recognizing the randomness involved. It's essential to study failures as much as successes to grasp the full picture. Confirmation bias. This refers to our tendency to search for, interpret, and remember information that confirms our preconceptions. As a result, we become blind to information that contradicts our beliefs. By challenging our assumptions, we become more informed and less likely to make misguided decisions. The sunk cost fallacy. Humans irrationally continue an endeavor once an investment in money, effort, or time has been made, irrespective of the likelihood of success. This fallacy makes people cling to hopeless projects. Rational decision-making involves evaluating the future potential gains rather than past investments. The availability heuristic. People estimate the probability of events based on how easily examples come to mind. This can lead to distorted perceptions of risk, with certain events appearing more frequent or likely than they are. Awareness of this bias encourages us to seek out more data and less emotionally charged examples. Hindsight bias. After an event has occurred, individuals often convince themselves that they predicted it all along. This bias fosters overconfidence in our predictive abilities. Recognizing hindsight bias reminds us to remain humble and cautious in our judgments. Social proof. We often determine what is correct by observing others, particularly in uncertain situations. While this can lead to conformity and herd behavior, it may also bypass rational judgment. Balancing the insights of social proof with individual critical thinking is vital. Reciprocity. Humans have a natural inclination to return favors, which can be manipulated in social and business contexts. Understanding this reflex can help protect against being exploited by others. Learning when to reciprocate genuinely versus strategically is key in personal and professional interactions. The halo effect. Our perception of one quality can influence feelings and thoughts about a broader context, skewing our judgment of someone's overall character based on specific traits. Recognizing this can help prevent skewed decisions based on initial impressions. Anchoring. People are heavily influenced by the first piece of information they encounter when making decisions. This principle impacts numerical estimations and other judgments. Being aware of anchoring can prevent miscalculations and overreactions. Loss aversion. People tend to prefer avoiding losses rather than acquiring equivalent gains, revealing a disproportionate sensitivity to losses. This can lead to overly conservative decisions. 
Mindfulness of this bias encourages a balanced approach to risk. Framing. How information is presented can significantly alter decision-making and judgment. Different wording, emphasis, or context can lead to different conclusions. Be alert to framing effects to interpret information accurately. The overconfidence effect. People often overestimate their knowledge, abilities, and predictions about future events. This bias can lead to poor decisions due to an inflated sense of confidence. Practicing humility and seeking feedback can mitigate overconfidence. The endowment effect. People assign a higher value to things merely because they own them. This can inhibit rational behavior in negotiations and personal affairs. Recognizing this bias allows for more objective assessments of the real value. Groupthink. The desire for harmony and conformity within a group can lead to irrational decisions. To counteract this, open dialogue and dissenting opinions should be encouraged. Diverse perspectives strengthen decision-making processes. Cognitive dissonance. The mental discomfort from holding conflicting beliefs or values can lead individuals to rationalize or deny facts. Being aware of this discomfort can guide constructive change rather than rigid adherence to flawed viewpoints. Availability. Cascade, a self-reinforcing cycle where collective belief in information strengthens through repetition in public discourse. This can lead to skewed perceptions of importance or truth. Critical examination of repetitive information helps break the cycle. Base rate neglect. People tend to disregard the general prevalence of an attribute or event in the population, focusing instead on specific information. Awareness guards against erroneous predictions or beliefs. False causality. Misinterpreting correlation as causation can lead to faulty conclusions. Distinguishing between correlation and causation ensures sound analysis. The affect heuristic. Emotions can heavily influence our decisions, often leading to errors in judgment. Developing emotional intelligence aids in distinguishing between emotional responses and rational decision-making. The planning fallacy. People tend to underestimate the time, costs, and risks of future actions while overestimating the benefits. Understanding and adjusting chapter for this summaries. can lead to more successful chapter one, project. Why you should visit cemeteries. This chapter introduces the concept of survivorship bias, illustrating how people tend to focus on successful outcomes while ignoring the failures that could provide valuable insights. Dobelli advises readers to gather a complete picture of any situation by examining both successful and unsuccessful cases. Historical examples demonstrate how ignoring so-called cemeteries of failure can lead to skewed perceptions and flawed decisions. Chapter two, does Harvard make you smarter? Exploring the illusion of successful institutions, this chapter questions prestige-based assumptions. Dobelli challenges the belief that elite organizations unequivocally foster superior performance, offering a nuanced understanding that success is also attributed to, to selection bias and pre-existing aptitudes. Readers are encouraged to question the superficial attribution of success. Chapter 3. If 50 million people say something foolish, it is still foolish. The focus here is on social proof and the herd mentality. Dobelli uses examples of mass behavior to show how people often derive beliefs from others without question. The chapter advocates for independent critical thinking to prevent falling into conformity-driven errors. Chapter 4. Is it better to have loved and lost? Through the lens of the sunk cost fallacy, readers learn about the trap of perseverance due to prior investments. This mentality often leads individuals to engage in irrational continuations. Dobelli suggests evaluating decisions based on future potential rather than past investments. Chapter 5, The Calf Path. In examining tradition and historical precedent, this chapter encourages skepticism of long-standing practices. Dobelli highlights examples where traditional approaches impede progress. Readers are encouraged to innovate rather than follow well-trodden paths why you see scrutiny. shapes in the clouds. This chapter explores pattern recognition and the brain's tendency to see connections where none exist. Dobelli cautions against attributing meaning to coincidences, advocating for scientific skepticism. Understanding this bias can prevent overinterpretation. Chapter 7, Men and Women in Tights. Focusing on the impact of images, the author explains the role of visual heuristics in shaping perceptions uncritically. The chapter critiques the power of first impressions and the halo effect. Awareness of visual biases can cultivate more balanced opinions. 
Chapter 8, Never Judge a Decision by Its Outcome. Dobelli warns against outcome bias, where people judge decisions solely based on their results rather than the decision-making process. Insights into how variable outcomes can obscure rational decisions are provided, stressing the importance of examining decision quality over outcomes. Message from the author, Rolf Dobelli encourages readers to cultivate awareness of cognitive biases in their decision-making. By understanding how mental shortcuts and errors can lead to skewed perceptions and irrational decisions, individuals can improve their reasoning processes. The book is a call to critically evaluate one's assumptions and embrace a more rational, evidence-based approach to thinking. Dobelli underscores the necessity of skepticism and highlights the significance of knowledge in shielding against cognitive pitfalls. Conclusion. The Art of Thinking Clearly presents a comprehensive exploration of cognitive biases that cloud judgment. By identifying and understanding these biases, readers are equipped to make more sound decisions. Dobelli's work is a reminder that clear thinking is a skill that requires ongoing practice and self-awareness. Seeking the balance between instinct and rationality can lead to improved outcomes in both personal and professional realms. The ultimate takeaway is the empowerment that comes from thinking critically and challenging one's mental shortcuts.